Slicing the ball when it gets really low can help you avoid making unnecessary mistakes. As a rule of thumb, the lower that the ball is, the easier it is to hit if your paddle is more open. And so that lends itself to slicing the ball when you're having to pick it up from pretty low off the ground. So the ball's low, I decide to open my face and slice it. I see a lot of players and instead of doing that, they'll try to hit top spin and they'll hit right into the net because it's tough to get that paddle underneath the ball in that situation. Versus if the ball's a little higher, then I have options. So I might choose to do a top spin shot if that ball's a little bit higher. I don't need my face to be open because it's not a low shot. So the top spin works really well and I can get my paddle underneath the ball successfully. So now I'm going to decide based on the ball that comes at me, whether I should slice or top spin based on how high it is. So that's high, so I can top spin it. That's lower, so I'm gonna open my face, change my grip, and slice it. Again, that's lower, and that's higher. So I top spin it. So if you don't already know how to hit a slice, this is a really good reason to learn one because there'll be certain balls where you're at a disadvantage trying to hit top spin from down here. A slice requires a lot less swing than a top spin, and so if you're ever in doubt as to what type of shot you should do, you should default to a slice because it's more likely you're gonna make it, especially when that ball's low or you're under pressure.